Hi, for a limited time, get up to 60% off our exclusive official merch. Don't miss out. Grab your favorites now. Visit our Amazon page through the link below and score these deals before they're gone. Hey people, I'm Danielle and this is my story. Please like and subscribe. Growing up, I thought my mom was the coolest. Dad was always traveling for work and we'd never gotten close. But I loved being with mom because she was so unpredictable and fun. She didn't fuss over balanced meals or strict routines and bedtime was always flexible, depending on how far our living room fort was coming along or if we hadn't finished our movie. She was all about letting me explore and being creative without caring about a messy house or dirty clothes. It's like she crafted her parenting style from a child's wish list, and it was awesome. A child needs some discipline. We don't want people thinking she's being raised by wolves. I don't think a lot about what other people are thinking, and a child needs to enjoy their childhood. You only get it once. But nothing topped the birthday party she threw me when I turned 10. She turned our backyard into a carnival with swings, food stalls, bouncy castles, and a petting zoo. The whole neighborhood was invited, and everyone was having a blast. Till things turned a bit chaotic. We suddenly had goats headbutting kids, llamas chasing neighbors down the street, and alpacas uprooting everyone's lawns. And to make things ten times worse, Dad turned up early to find the house looking like a tornado had swept through. It didn't help that we also got a massive fine from the city council for unauthorized livestock. Dad was beyond furious, and after a huge fight, he told Mom he'd had enough and wanted a divorce. He moved out the next day, and soon after the divorce was finalized, we found out he got remarried. Mom didn't take all these changes well and got really depressed. Dad sent some money for child support, but it wasn't much, and we suddenly found ourselves going from fairly well off to, well, kind of poor. It used to be so much more fun to share lunch with you when you had takeout pizza or pasta. Your homemade meals are awful. I know. How can you eat this every day? If you can make your mom happy by letting her think her food is good, it's easy to eat her awful lunches. In more ways than one, I found myself being the adult around the house while mom was in her downward spiral. She was a high school dropout, so she she wasn't qualified for many jobs, and if she got any, she never lasted too long. Mom, I understand the customer was being rude to you, but you shouldn't have hit him in the eye with fried chicken. He deserved it. Otherwise, you know I'm not a violent person. You got fired from the shoe store last month because you had an argument with the manager and threw a stiletto at him. As Mom drifted in and out of jobs and moods, I was taking care of things around the house and even managing the finances. By eighth grade, I'd started doing small jobs for the neighbors to earn some extra cash. But when I was in the ninth grade, mom got a job as a singing telegram. Yep, she got paid to dress up in the wackiest costumes, from a tap dancing banana to a rapping dinosaur, and deliver messages in song. Happy birthday, dear Max. It's time to wear your party hat, even though you're getting older. At least you're not as old as that. Betty, you give me diabetes, cause you're so sweet. Say yes to marry me, and I'll kiss your feet. They weren't always happy messages, though. Don't worry, Mike. You're not about to die. But you are getting fired. So pack your things and say bye. For the first time, Mom seemed to be doing something she enjoyed, and I was happy for her. One evening, she was going to a fast food restaurant to deliver a birthday message, and she asked me to come along so we could eat there later. I watched in amusement as she sang and danced, but just then, <laughs> I heard loud laughter at the table behind me. It was a bunch of popular girls from my class with their queen bee, Mila, and they were laughing at mom. Gosh, how pathetic would you have to be to take up a job that has you acting like an idiot in public? It made me really angry, but I couldn't help feeling embarrassed too. I didn't want to be seen by them with mom. I slid under the table, crawled towards the fire exit, and escaped. I waited in the car till mom came, saying she'd been looking for me everywhere. But I just pretended I wasn't feeling well and wanted to go home. And when career day came around and everyone was asked to bring in their parents, I made sure mom just never got the notice for it. So imagine my shock when mom walked into the classroom dressed up as a giant cupcake. And when she introduced herself as my mom, I wished a sinkhole would open up. How come you didn't tell me about career day? I found the notice under your bed while cleaning. I forgot you looked uncomfortable with me being there. Well, you know what kids are like, mom. They can be mean. If you were planning to come, you could have said you'd do something else. Why? I know some moms who came are lawyers and doctors and their jobs are really important to them. But I also like mine and it pays the bills. That's all a job is supposed to do. I don't define my worth by it. I was almost annoyed with mom for choosing this moment to sound so 
wise and mature. Why couldn't she understand that high school kids were judgmental and wouldn't let me live it down? Which, of course, they didn't. Wow, you got the lowest grade in the math test. If you keep up like this, you'll end up failing high school and become a singing telegram, too. You're signing up for dance club? Danielle, if you dance anything like your mom, don't even bother. One day, I was walking into class when I tripped on a school bag and face planted to the floor. Oh, wow, girl. You're just as embarrassing as your mom. I'd had it. I was about to pounce on her when the door suddenly opened and the teacher walked in with the most gorgeous boy I'd ever laid eyes on. He introduced himself as Antonio and everybody swooned over the mysterious exchange student. Antonio. You can sit here. She pushed her minion right out of the chair next to her and smiled at him innocently. But to my shock, the teacher insisted Antonio sit with me. As he walked over, he ran his fingers through his blonde hair and his bright blue eyes mesmerized me as he gave me a smile. Oh, was I kidding? He'd never be interested in me. So I just got on with the day and watched the really pretty girls fall over themselves to talk to him, which was so... So embarrassing. Hey, Antonio, please zip up my lab coat. Oh, silly me. It has no zip. Can I touch your hair? Just for one second. It's for science. To my surprise, Antonio walked past all the other girls at lunch and asked if he could sit with me. And he actually seemed interested in talking to me. Back home, I don't have any friends. Really? You look like the sword who would have loads. It's hard to trust people. It seems like most of them want to be friends for all the wrong reasons. Even here, I don't know how many of these people actually care to know the real me. You seem different, though. Oh, I blushed and got so nervous that I spilled my milkshake all over myself. Rather than laughing, he coolly handed me a napkin. When our hands touched, we both pulled away nervously. So, tell me about the real you. He talked about how much he missed his country and his family. We're really close, so it's hard to be away. How about your family? Oh, well, it's just me and my mom. We're pretty close. What does your mom do? Uh, she... she's a singer. Oh, really? What kind of singer? Come on, think fast, a jazz singer, really sophisticated and cool, you know? Antonio was super amazed by that, but then I suddenly realized he would discover the truth soon enough, so I lied to mom. I've joined a club before and after school, and the timings won't suit you, so no need to drive me over and pick me up. I'll take the bus. I had to go to a cafe to kill time, before and after school, but it was worth it. Antonio and I were getting closer. Want me to come around tonight to study? Where I'm staying, I don't get much privacy. My mom's rehearsing with her cool and sophisticated jazz band. Uh, what about the library? We hit the books in the library one afternoon where something weird happened. These two men in suits sat right near us and kept glancing at Antonio. They were both reading, but one of them had his book upside down. I don't want to worry you, but those men keep looking at you. Are you sure? Maybe they're looking at you because, you know, you're so pretty. It's still creepy, of course. We can get out of here and go to the mall. I have to buy a few things. It wasn't a few things. Antonio was spending an absurd amount of money. What? These are presents for my family. I get an allowance, you know? Suddenly, this guy appeared out of nowhere, took Antonio's wallet, and bolted like a cheetah. But just then, the same two men from the library popped up, chased the thief down, and tackled him to the ground. Those are the men from the library. They're after us. Run, Antonio, run! It's okay. I know them. I will explain everything. Antonio took me to the exchange house where he was staying, which turned out to be a freaking mansion with staff who bowed to him. I must confess something. In my country, I'm a prince. My parents are king and queen, and those men are my bodyguards. Yeah, and I'm the Empress of Egypt, Cleopatra. Nice to meet you. It's true. I'm really not making this up. It really felt like he wasn't joking around, and my mouth dropped open in shock. I'm sorry I lied. I just wanted to experience life without the royal spotlight for a bit. I was gonna tell you the truth eventually, but I was enjoying my time with you so much just being a regular guy. I didn't want to ruin it because, well, I kind of like you. Wow, a prince has feelings for me. I kind of like you too. Antonio smiled brightly. It was like a fairy tale. Now that you know the truth, my parents are coming for a visit tomorrow and we're having a banquet. I'd love for you to come. You and your mom. I couldn't invite mom. Not after the lies I told about her. She went on a world tour today. She's in Japan right now. Oh, that's a shame. I really wanted to meet her. The next night, as I got ready for Antonio's party, mom peeked into my room. Hey, honey, I have to work tonight. Are you going out? Uh, yes. I'm hanging out with 
some friends. I'm happy to hear that. But lately, I feel like we hardly spend any time together. Any chance you want to tag along to work? We can do something fun afterwards. I told you already, Mom. Hanging out with friends. Mom looked a bit sad as she nodded and left, and I felt kind of bad. But my mind soon shifted back to Antonio's party. I wanted to look my absolute best for it. The party was amazing, and everyone there looked super glamorous. Antonio introduced me to his parents, who were both lovely. Everything was going well, when suddenly, Antonio grabbed my hand. I have a surprise for you. The lights darkened, and the stage lights lit up. Then, to my absolute horror, Mom walked on stage, dressed as a queen with a fake crown and velvet robes. I closed my eyes as tightly as I could, hoping I could teleport to another planet. But, spoiler alert, it didn't work. I found the cutest way to send a message. It's called a singing telegram. Ever heard of it? This message is for you. Then, my mother started to sing an opera about love. Everyone cheered her on, but I wasn't even listening. I was hoping she couldn't even see me from the stage. But then, she got off and started walking into the crowd towards me. As she got closer, her voice cracked, and she stopped singing mid-sentence. Danielle? You know her? I guess. A little. Yeah. She's... She's my mom. I thought your mom was a jazz singer in Japan on a world tour. I looked at mom as realization of what was happening dawned on her face. I'd never seen her look so sad and disappointed. Then she just turned and ran out. I'm sorry, I have to go. I ran after her as fast as I could, but she'd already left, so I took a cab home. When I got there, she had already changed out of costume. Mom, I'm sorry. You are that embarrassed of me that you pretended I was in another country? I know, it was awful, and I that was my last job as a singing telegram. It's over. Mom, you don't have to save it, Danielle. You got what you wanted. A normal mom. I'll never embarrass you again. She wasn't the only one angry at me. Antonio was ignoring me in school the next few days, too. And eventually, I had to climb the rope right behind him in gym class to get him to talk to me. What are you doing? I just wanted to apologize about that little mix-up. Little mix-up? You lied to me. Uh, hello, Mr. I'm a secret prince? Lying about that is different. And I told you the truth eventually. I liked you because I thought you were genuine, unlike the others. But I was clearly wrong. His words hit me so hard that I fell off the rope. Ouch. I know I shouldn't have cared what people thought of my mom. A part of me just wanted to have a stable parent with a normal job. But what was so bad about the one who didn't? Growing up, I'd loved that she wasn't like other parents. Mom had just picked up a waitressing job at her friend's cafe. And I decided to dress up and apologize to her publicly as a singing telegram. But when I got there, I found her in a cat fight with her friend. Why won't you believe me? Why would I lie about my daughter dating a prince? If he's a prince, he could literally date anyone. Why Danielle? You're saying my daughter isn't good enough for a prince? What's wrong with my Danielle? She's pretty and smart and the picture of grace. I couldn't help smiling. She really was one of a kind. Mom, I've been a jerk. We both know it's true. I'm really sorry that I made you feel blue. You deserve the best day and night. Please quit this job. Let's make it right. As mom and I went smiling outside, I pulled her into a hug. You always let me do whatever I wanted. I'm sorry I wasn't as supportive. I know I haven't been the ideal parent at times. You're the parent I want. Let's go eat something, shall we? Any chance your prince boyfriend would join us? He's not my boyfriend. And you aren't supposed to go around announcing he's a prince. I don't think anyone believed me anyway. Yeah, that's true. And I guess we'll have to see if he'll give me another chance. Either way, tonight I'd rather just hang out with you, Mom. It's been a while. Thank you.